Did you know that in Formula 1's history, only one team has ever won its debut race with a 1-2 finish? Get ready as we are about to take you on a thrilling journey through some of the most incredible, unexpected, and downright miraculous moments in F1 history. Number 10. The 2005 Australian Grand Prix The 2005 Australian Grand Prix marked a new era in F1 qualifying. A two-session format shook up the grid, especially with changeable weather. Giancarlo Fisichella, driving for Renault, claimed pole position after a seven-year drought. The newly transformed Red Bull racing team qualified an impressive fifth and sixth round. Fisichella dominated the race, leading from start to finish and securing his first top podium spot. Red Bull Racing had a dream debut, finishing fourth and seventh with both drivers scoring points. This race showed a new qualifying format, a comeback pole sitter, and a rookie team's impressive performance, setting the stage for an unforgettable season. Number 9. The 2002 Australian Grand Prix The 2002 Australian Grand Prix was a roller coaster of drama. The race began with chaos as a collision between Ralph Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello triggered a massive pileup, eliminating eight cars. After the restart, Michael Schumacher and Juan Pablo Montoya battled fiercely. However, the day belonged to rookie Mark Webber. In his F1 debut driving for underdog Minardi, Webber finished an incredible fifth. It was Minardi's best result in eight years achieved on home soil. Webber's celebration on the podium alongside fellow Aussie and team boss Paul Stoddard was unforgettable. This race epitomized F1's unpredictability from chaotic start to fairy tale finish. Number 8. The 1961 Monaco Grand Prix The 1961 Monaco Grand Prix is a legendary underdog story starring Sterling Moss. Driving an underpowered four-cylinder Lotus against mighty Ferrari V6 engines, Moss secured pole position but lost the lead at the start. Undeterred, he fought back, reclaiming his first place by lap 13. For the next 87 laps, Moss drove with incredible precision, lapping three seconds faster than his qualifying time while fending off the Ferraris. He clinched his third Monaco victory, a feat unmatched at the time. Moss called it the drive of his life, and this race proved that in F1, driver skill and determination can triumph over raw power. Number 7. The 1974 Argentine Grand Prix Let's jet off to Argentina now for the 1974 Grand Prix because this race teaches us a valuable lesson. It's never over until you cross that finish line. Our main character in the story is Carlos Riotman, the local hero. Imagine the scene, it's the third lap of the race and suddenly the crowd erupts in cheers. Why? Because Riotman had just taken the lead. Riotman was so close to victory he could almost taste it, only to have it snatched away at the last moment. But it gets worse. The misfiring engine wasn't done with Rootman yet. By the time the checkered flag fell, he had dropped all the way down to 7th place. From potential winner to out of the points. Now if this were a movie, this is where our hero would give up, right? Number 6. The 1955 Argentine Grand Prix This 1955 Argentine Grand Prix was one of the F1's most grueling races. In scorching 40 degrees Celsius heat, without modern cooling systems, drivers faced a brutal test of endurance. Juan Manuel Fangio, driving for Mercedes, emerged as the hero. While many drivers succumbed to exhaustion, Fangio battled for three hours against the heat and his physical limits to claim victory. This race showcased not just speed, but incredible human endurance and adaptability. Number 5. The 1982 South African Grand Prix the 1982 South African Grand Prix witnessed unprecedented off-track drama. Unhappy with new super license rules, drivers went on strike, boycotting Thursday practice. They holed up in a Johannesburg hotel, negotiating with officials while cars sat idle at the track. However, he later renegated, finding drivers and issuing race bans. This episode highlighted F1's political side, showcasing power struggles and drivers' rights beyond the racetrack. Number 4. The 1977 Argentine Grand Prix Get ready for a story that proves dreams really do come true in Formula 1. We're heading back to 1977 and the Argentine Grand Prix for one of the most surprising victories in F1 history. Mate Jody Schechter, who is driving for the brand new Wolf Racing Team. Now, when we say brand new, we mean it. This was their very first Formula 1 race. Schechter qualified in 11th place, it's not bad for a debut, but nothing to write home about either. But then the race started, and things got interesting. The scorching heat in Argentina started to take its toll, because drivers were making mistakes, cars were breaking down, it was chaos. 
Meanwhile, Schechter was having the drive of his life. He was picking off cars one by one, steadily moving up the field. With six laps to go, he found himself right behind the leaders. By the time he crossed the finish line, he had a 40-second advantage. In Formula 1 terms, that's an eternity. Just think about it for a second. This was a brand new team in their very first race, and they had won. For Schechter and Wolf Racing, it was a dream come true. This victory goes down as one of the most surprising and impressive debut wins in F1 history. It's a testament to the skill of Schechter, the engineering prowess of the Wolf team, and maybe just a little bit of a beginner's luck. Number 3. The 1994 Brazilian Grand Prix The 1994 Brazilian Grand Prix marked the beginning of a new era in Formula 1. Ayrton Senna, the local hero, started on pole for Williams. But a young Michael Schumacher in his Benetton was right on his heels. As the race unfolded, Schumacher showed incredible pace, breaking lap records. After a crucial pit stop, Schumacher emerged in the lead. Senna, pushing hard to catch up, made a rare mistake and spun out, and Schumacher cruised to victory, his third in F1. This race signaled a changing of the guard, with Schumacher rising as F1's new star, and it proved that in Formula 1, nothing is certain. Number 2. The 1989 Brazilian Grand Prix the 1989 Brazilian Grand Prix showcased Ferrari's gamble with F1's first semi-automatic gearbox. Despite struggles in practice with Nigel Mansell's car breaking down repeatedly, race day brought a miraculous turnaround. Mansell's Ferrari roared to life, performing brilliantly. He drove a perfect race, even passing Ricardo Petres in a shower of sparks to take the lead. Despite a dramatic pit stop where mechanics changed all four tires and the steering wheel, Mansell crossed the finish line first. This unexpected victory, Mansell's 14th, proved that in F1, miracles can happen. Ferrari's risky new technology paid off, challenging McLaren's dominance and reminding everyone that in F1, anything is possible. Number 1. The 2009 Australian Grand Prix The 2009 Australian Grand Prix gave us one of F1's greatest underdog stories. After Honda's withdrawal, Ross Braun led a management buyout, creating Braun GP. Despite barely making it to the first place, they arrived with a secret weapon, the double diffuser. Jensen Button and Rubens Barrichello shocked everyone by qualifying first and second. In the race, they dominated, finishing 1-2. It was a fairy tale come true for a team that months earlier didn't know if they would exist. This victory kicked off a remarkable season where Braun GP won both championships before being bought by Mercedes. It proved that in F1, sometimes dreams really do come true. That's it. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through F1 history as much as we have. Which of these stories was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, keep your eyes on the track and your foot on the gas.